Hi, this is Cass from Mozzy Cass Plays, and welcome to Season 4, Part 29 of my 100 Vampire Baby Challenge. I was just trying to get little uh, Clara. No, which one's she? That's Beatrix. They've swapped order now because I aged up Clara first. Beatrix to level 2 logic. But of course, because she has the slow learner trait, this thing's basically not moving. So I was trying to get her focused, but... No dice. Did not work. I thought you could just have them, like, view the one with the emotional aura, and sometimes it would give you a mood lit, but it didn't work. So I don't know. All right. We're going to come out here. Oh, she's thinking level two. So we're going to get her to harvest all out there. Now, she is in her third trimester, so we're kind of just waiting to see how that plays out, I guess. We've got the kids all getting ready for school. We've got an hour to go. The message has just popped up. So Nellie's, you know, doing her harvesting thing. I've got... I'm blanking on names. That's terrible. I've got Zachary over here just kind of getting himself sorted. Now he's already got a skill at level three. So he's just going up to join Beatrix just to give her company, basically. And I've got Clara outside working on her the science table. So once these guys are all done and this little dude, dudette, <laughs> my apologies, it's the hair, it's the short hair. I usually, to make, because there's so many kids in this challenge, I usually do give them long and short hair based on gender, which, you know, I wouldn't do that in real life, obviously, but in the game it's easier to like mouse over the little thumbnail if there's like a really clear visual cue. But yes, Delilah is asleep. She's about to wake up hangry, so maybe I should get her up and get her to eat. It'll be easier for me if I do. So can she go to the toilet on her own yet? No. So I'll get Nellie to potty train her. All right, school time, kids. All right, my army of children off to learn how to conquer the world. Lots of people completed projects. I don't even remember. Is that bad? It's probably bad. All right. Come on, Clara. There we go. Everyone's everyone's doing... Oh, I didn't realize that. I've never realized if you just mouse over this little person here, these little two people standing there, it tells you how they're studying. How did I not know that? Go put her on the potty and then I'll get you to come back out and do more, you know, chores. There we go. So, yeah, we're just kind of, oh, right, we're just kind of waiting. We're waiting for lots of phone calls from the school, apparently. All right. So, Arya started a food fight. Unsurprising. Our evil child is following through. We're going to say clean up because it raises responsibility. Now, Delilah, I don't think, has any skills, pretty much. I just clicked the wrong button. Oh, she's got movement level two. That's probably just from that. And that's it. So we'll pop her in the potty. Let's see if Nelly actually will stay. I downloaded a mod that was targeting the really, really flaky behavior that came with the eco lifestyle pack. Like, I think I've mentioned it before. And yeah, no, she's still wandering off. I think I've mentioned it before. The neighborhood action plans are like super kind of glitchy so if you have for example foodies unite they'll obsessively make cakes the future cube spawning thing is apparently caused by the technology one the art one makes them spawn clay so i downloaded a mod that basically moderated get it ha huh. moderated all of the random behaviors that go with that pack so they'll still do it but apparently It'll be like, well, they'll only cook if they're hungry. So if they get hungry, then they'll go and make a cake if they have foodies unite. You know what I mean? And it won't just focus on desserts. Now, apparently EA did patch it to fix this behavior, but I didn't notice a change from the patch. I noticed a change from the mod. So I was hoping Nelly would be a bit less all over the place. But honestly, can't keep this girl down, can you? So we're basically going to be working on toddler skills for the day. And waiting for the kids to get home. So I might play through off screen just because you guys have all seen toddlers sitting on potties before. I don't really feel like we need to follow in a super close up. 
super close up fashion, this little bean sitting on the potty doing a poop. Now, Delilah is our current next matriarch until she is replaced by another female vampire. So if Nellie's pregnant with a female vampire, then obviously Delilah's, oh, you are hungry. Delilah's off the hook, but we'll see how we go. All right, well, I will catch ba- touch base with you guys probably at three o'clock when the kids get home. We'll see how they go. All right, kids have come home. I just had Nellie out hunting. So everyone's come home with a project. Zachary is an A student, so we can age him out. Ari is a B, so she's gone up. Beatrix and Clara have not gone up. Now, I didn't actually, I was having a look and they've kind of stopped at the like uh, four fifths mark of the slider, which is quite annoying. Aria only just scraped through, honestly. So, oh, what is going on with you? Stop looking at me. Oh, if I eat him up, is he going to die? No, oh, can vampires, someone told me vampires can't die from emotional deaths. I don't know if that's true. Yeah, if they can, because I know teens can't. Like if I aged him up, would he die on me? I don't know. All right, do your homework. You can also do your homework. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, kids. I know you're miserable. All right, let's age up this guy. Now, I did do Zachary's photo shoot. I should probably just confirm that his traits are in trait range. I'm pretty sure they are. Yeah, they are. So we can age this guy out. At the point where he's an adult, it doesn't matter if he dies because I still he still counts. Like you just have to get them to be an, a young adult, and then it's like tick, move on. Because obviously, normally they'd all die of old age at some point. He's a freegan, a piggy, a freegan, and an introvert. Being a piggy and a freegan is a, not a great combination, because you know. All right, little dude. Add some candles to that, and then I guess we can move you out. It does mean we won't have a teen in the house, but honestly, I'm not super sure that I care. All right. Because, I mean, having just one toddler is fine. Incoming phone call from Thor. Is Thor's her dad, right? Yes. Thor just rang his daughter. We've been thinking about trying for a baby lately. Do you think we should do it? We want to, but we're not sure. It's a huge responsibility. What do you think? Responses. Try for that baby. Are you sure you're ready for that? Or you, a parent? That last one, oh my God, from his daughter. Um, he's an elder. No, gross. Thank you for giving me a reality check. You're welcome, Thor. Not that I have a problem with elders, you know, woohooing. What I have a problem with is him having a newborn and then dropping dead 30 seconds later. I don't know, also don't know who he's trying for a baby with. So, whatevs. I wonder if he, who he's married to. I might be at a... Let's see. He should be somewhere in this list. Married... Oh, Lyric Odinson. She's not an elder. Maybe. Maybe they could have. Anyway, it's fine. Oh, she's down here. Doing the birth if you get obsession thing. All right, I'm going to quickly move this guy out. Because, honestly, the eye rolling is quite annoying. <laughs> and I'll get back to you guys. All right, we are down to five. So I'm just telling Delilah to maybe work on her communication skill for a little bit just because her attention is a little bit low. She does also need a bath. But I'm thinking that could be a future Nelly problem. We've got Arya's in the bath too, although she's pretty much done. Now, from memory, her skills are fine. Like, she's got, I think... If I have her get to logic level three, then she actually won't need to work on any skills when she's a teenager, which is kind of funny. Anyway, I'm going to get her to go to the bathroom and actually, no, come do your homework. Come sit over here and do the homework. Now, how are her traits? She's nowhere near trait range, so maybe after that I should have her work on a project. Chemical Reaction Volcano, that sounds like something that would give you logic, so she can start on that. And the twins are out here doing their homework by the pool. What could possibly go wrong by the pool with a book? 
All right. What's the matter with you? Okay, you both done your homework. That's actually kind of cute. They bop into some music. I don't know what they're bopping to. All right, Delilah's communication level two. Maybe I'll get them both just to do the projects that they were given out here on the lawn or on the patio. All right. No, wait, stop. That's not what I wanted to do. Do that and do that. I'm hoping this will actually work to give Beatrix in particular the logic skill, which is what we're working on for her. Looks like it is. And she's focused. She's in the zone from her personality type. That's awesome. Thank you, Slice of Life, for improving my experience. All right, how are you going, little one? My favorite time of day is when we play together. Oh, my God, Nelly. Really? <sighs> All right. Maybe you could come in here and potty train her because I don't want her using her nappy while she's asleep. Come on. Nelly. 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 Hello? Nelly. There we go. I'm surprised she hasn't gone into labor yet. Sure. <laughs> she's bored. I am judging you, girl. Wow. <laughs> I just decided on the name for this uh, episode. Are we there yet? <laughs> That's definitely are we there yet face. Why are you washing your hands again? Is she obsessed about like coronavirus all of a sudden? Come on. Get yourself some water and you can brush your teeth and wash your hands if that's what you're worried about. That's fine. Slice of life does actually give you uh, 10 smoothlets if your sims don't ever wash their hands or if they don't brush their teeth. And if they don't drink water, they actually will get a sadness movelet because they get dehydrated. So, which I actually really like. I like that kind of touch. It's interesting that Beatrix has got more logic. Anyway, that's fine. Maybe she only just got the skill. How are you going, little one? Yeah, once you finish that, you can go to bed. Come on. You can do. You can do. Oh, I was hoping that she'd get to level two. Awesome. Well, we're kind of just waiting for Nelly at this point. All right, maybe you could assist Beatrix because she's the one that struggles. No? I guess we're drinking the water. They don't get, like, nauseous from drinking water, do they? No, vampires don't. I did wonder. All right, Arya's logic level three. When she ages up, she won't have to work on her skills at all. I've never had that happen before. So once she's done that, she can get leftovers and then... Honestly, girl, you can whatever you want to do. She does like playing chess. I could just have her play this for a bit before she goes to bed. There we go. Done. Yeah, see, this is where it really starts to show. She, a minute ago, her skill was down here and hers was here. And in that time, hers has doubled and hers has gone up by like a factor of four. This is the slow learner trait that we have on Beatrix. It's the absolute worst. Uh... Nilly. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, we're freezing to death. Wait, can kids freeze to death? Seriously? No, can kids freeze? I didn't think kids could. Hmm. There we go. Everyone's in some cold weather gear now. Nelly, of course, I think as a vampire is immune to temperature, which is nice. All right. Once you help Beatrix, she can then go to the bar. Oh my god, she really needs to pee. Can we hurry up here, please? Less talking. Thank you. Come back here. Clara needs help too. Oh, Nelly's gone into labor. Just fix that uh, stereo for me first, will you? <laughs> all right, you. Go. Do all these things. You are going to have to come back to this because otherwise there's going to be a terrible mess that I need to worry about. No, don't use that bathroom. Go upstairs and use this one. There we go. Get out of the way. Oh, your sister just went up there too. Dang it. That's all right. It's separate. She is going to walk through though. Uh, whoops. <laughs> I stuffed that up. Quick, just walk through. That's it. It's fine. <laughs> Take a shower and then come out here and finish this and then you can go to bed. There we go. Oh, did you just break my shower? You did. Two hours. I mean, she can go repair that first. <laughs> I'm so mean. 
Yay! Arya's trait responsibilities and trait range. All right, I have baby. I mean, she literally can repair it because she uh, has got quite high handiness skill now. So, yeah. Oh. You could do it, lady. Oh, wow. Owie, yeah, I know. Oh. I know, I've been there. It's not very much fun. You're okay. Of course, I haven't been there as many times as her, but <laughs> that's okay. All right. It's happening. So this, I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. I haven't, I haven't cheated to look. It's a boy. All right. Now we are up to E. I only have one boy name written down for E. I did have some girl name suggestions for E, but not boy names. So I'm going to call him Elijah. Oh my God. It's another boy. Twins. And they're both boys. That's horrible. That's like a waste. Okay, our boy F name is Fletcher. Oh my god. Twin boys! When I'm matriarch shopping, that is not ideal. Uh, twin girls I would have been excited about, like I, with these two, but wow. Okay, no. Nelly, Nelly, stop. Nelly, stop. Supervision baby care. And you need to breastfeed this one because even though it's not crying, we know that that's a lie. That's an animation lie. Oh, wait, you won't be able to do that. Uh, rock. Supervision baby care if you don't know how's a cool down. So you can only do it on one baby. And the other one you've got to do old school. All right. Clara is level four mental skill. So once she's done, she can eat and then go to bed. Oh, wait, are we out of food? Why is she trying to get um get a quick meal? No, just food. Oh, it's cake. Has someone eaten my cake? Yep. Someone's taken a big bite out of my cake. Okay, Nelly, you need to cook some food. So, rack of lamb. Sounds delish. I really need to clean up her inventory. Oh my god, we had twins. Twin boys. We've got two sets of twins in the house at the same time. Like, what even? Honestly, what even? Uh, I'm going to get her to just eat the bell peppers, I guess. Is everyone else asleep? Aria, you ate my cake. It was you. I mean, to be fair, I told her to get leftovers. And if it's the only thing left in there, I think they will actually do it. So even if there's candles, I think that's how it happens. So if they go to get leftovers, like if you cue it. Stop talking to people. Eat your bell peppers and then go to bed. Come on. It's like two in the morning. You've got school. Jeez. Someone's a bad parent, I tell you what. Is it me or Nelly? Which one of us is the bad parent? I mean, I don't even know. All right, well, we do need to get her pregnant, but I'm going to do that in the next part, especially because, like, it's two in the morning. There's no one, no one's going to come over unless I use a cheat, and I'm not, frankly, that invested in it. So... I'm going to get her to cook some food and another cake because that cake obviously is going to be a problem. And in the next part, once the kids have gone to school, we will look at getting her pregnant. I can't believe we had twin boys. What a disaster. I mean, it's good in that we are closer to our goal. I mean, just where does that get us up to? Oh my God. That means that um, this one, Fletcher, He's baby 75. We are three quarters of the way through. <gasps> oh my God. Okay. That is exciting. I'm excited now. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave this here. So if you've enjoyed, please like, and subscribe. You know the drill. Don't forget to wash your hands and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.